Hello and welcome guys to Prison Architect. That's it for now. Uh, you may wonder why did I start playing this. Well, I don't know. I just wanted to try something different in terms of strategy games. And this one looked like an opportunity I couldn't refuse. So this is basically the first wish of the campaign. And um, I, I think it's a really interesting campaign, seriously. It's like watching an interesting movie. Yeah, and I suppose it will be really, really, really good. So there is a priest, there is a convict. There is us. The prison architect. <laughs> okay, this is the prison, a pre-built prison. Oh, someone called me, the CEO. He says, this is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution cham chamber in time for the guy's big day. Okay. So we basically have to build an execution chamber. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. So let's get started, construct a new building here. We will also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Build a jail door into the south wall. Okay. So first things first, I need we need a wall, so I'll go with a bricks wall. It's a bit more expensive, but we have money. Large jail door, let's make it there. He calls us again. Uh, so your workmen are responsible for the construction of buildings. They will collect the steel and concrete from this storeroom and take it to the construction site. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. How brilliant. This is the slowest part of the construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around. Use WASD or, or the arrow keys to move around and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Got it. Well. What do you think so far guys? It made a, a really good impression on me this game. <clears throat> These are the cells with the convex. Here they cook the food, here they take the showers, here they serve the food. Here is the energy supply. More cells here, more showers here. Some guards over there and so on. Let's speed up. Well, I personally find the game really interesting. Okay, cash flow. Inside the building I want a cell and an execution room. Partition the space by constructing some brick walls. Okay. There you go. Let's speed up again. We also have a watch guys to see uh, what the hell is going on? Hmm. To see what the hell is going on in, uh, in our prison. I mean, at what hour the prisoners are getting out of, from the cells. At what, at what hour they're taking showers. At, at what hour they eat and so on. So, the CEO says. Now add large jail doors to those dividing. Uh, walls. You can rotate an object before placement by clicking the middle mouse button or press air. R. Sorry. Large jail door. Oh, not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. <laughs> that was uh, misplacing. Let's speed up to get that done. Uh, and just to go ahead. 
Okay, that's looking good. We now need to designate rooms within those spaces. Desi designating a cell in the small area where our condemned inmate will live. Then designate the execution room itself in the large area. So basically, I will uh, make this a cell and I will make this an execution room. Of course, we need to know which one is which. Those new rooms have requirements before they become functional. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. The execution room requires the electric chair. Guys, I wanted to, to play the campaign because I find it really interesting, seriously. It's pers I find it like a really good movie. <laughs> and I haven't seen one in a while. Okay, it's 3 uh, p.m. and the inmates are going outside in the yard let's speed up a little they are really slow they have no friends okay they're building uh, everything that must be built they're getting a bed they're getting a toilet 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 built okay the CEO says that's the essentials taken care of, but there are still a few improvements you could make. It's up to you though. These aren't strictly required. It depends how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. Do I really have to care about it? The cell itself could be improved with an outward facing window and a small bookshelf. And the facility would look better with a higher quality floor material like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Seriously, dude? Outside, you could add some light. Lighting? <sighs> In the paved pathway, if you think needs it. So I, I haven't uh, slept much in, uh, in the past. Okay, this is the convicted guy. This is the man in question, Edward Romsey, a teacher once, would you believe? It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do a job. Once you're satisfied the facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate the transfer. Okay, guys, so as they said, let's add a window to the cell so he can e escape. Let's add some light bulbs around here. Okay, I misplaced that one. A bookshelf, uh, an office desk. <laughs> I'm kidding. Material. Let's make some paved road around. All right, guys. So I, I think I'm filling the optionals. More builders are getting here. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. A bookshelf is being stored. I'm doing the optionals things. These are just optional. Okay, it's night time. Oh, brilliant. They have to eat at 8 p.m. At 9 p.m. they eat or during these hours. Redo the flooring with higher quality materials. Wooden floor. We're here. Also in here. Oh my God. Why do I have the feeling he will escape? Okay, let's move him. Oh. I have just to click here on the polar right. Okay, incoming call. This is him. This is the cop. This is the priest. The chief. Don't shed a tear for this guy. He's a stone cold killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed. When I hear his description of what he did, the juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. 
I knew she was home. Oh, here he is, guys. He knew she was home. Uh. Oh no, she's with another man. Guys. Damn. Damn, bro. You caught them. Edward. I knew I'd catch you to here. Edward, I... Don't. Just don't. What are you going to do? Bam. Bam. Now guys, I have a question for you. What do you think? In some countries, you're allowed to kill your wives. I mean, in Asia, <laughs> you're allowed to kill your wife if she's cheating on you. Her hand can cover that. Imagine how big it is. <laughs> Clear as a day, if you ask me. Deserves every vault he's gonna get. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them there, together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. The state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his crime 100 miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. Uh, not that good with voice I acting. The CEO. Good work so far. However, there is one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet. Because it doesn't have any power. We need to connect it to the electrical supply. And this is the electrical. Lol, they don't, they don't have electricity here. Poor inmates. We're now viewing the prison in utilities mode, which shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by this thick underground electrical cables. Power is provided to the prison by the substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. Okay. As you can see, this entire wing of prison cells is without power. All the lights are out. To fix this problem, we first need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. And there's the reason. The nearest electric electrical cable are too far away. Your engineer can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover the swing of the prison. So let's go to utilities mode, electrical cable. I'm going like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, so it's, it's happening. Let's go like this. I like this. It should have electricity now. We just gotta speed it up. Come on, workers, work. Do your job. Okay. Electrical chair. Needs electricity.
electrical cable what the hell so I had I made pipe and not electrical cable seriously wait I did made a pipe what the hell is wrong with me guys I'm an idiot big one okay lights aren't the only thing that needs power you need electric chair oh lights aren't okay my electric chair needs it use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid directly the electric chair itself is a special type of electrical item it requires its own dedicated power line you will need to connect it up directly with main cable. Okay. Oh, with the main cable, they said. Okay, yeah, it's done. It's done. We're almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it though. Just, uh, I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds, make sure everything is okay. Well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped at the circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. So what do we do? First we need to turn the power back on. This is a two step process. Switch the power station back on by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu that appears. Then build three more capacitors to so we have enough power capacity to handle the electrical chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu. Need more capacitors. Okay. <clears throat> Aside from this, we need to click here. And I'll switch it on. Hopefully the prisoners won't go away. One, two. Okay, got the capacitors. There's the chair again. Click on it and select switch on. Done! <clears throat> well then, I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job, and that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. This is Jesus. <laughs> What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Did he escape? Or is this the prison church? <laughs> Can I help you? says nothing are you looking for forgiveness I don't know I have to do something I can't live with the things I've done you have to turn yourself in whatever you've done you cannot evade the consequences you will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past I want to go back I want to forgive her I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. I 
think that was before. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will have the final judgment on you. Damn. There is a Bible on that bookshelf. I'm seriously intrigued. I want to know what's going to happen next. He will try to kill him. Ooh. Edward Ramsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan, I'm sorry. They want us to think he's dead. But I think he's alive. Chapter 2 Palermo. Wait a second, guys. There's a crisis brewing at one of our other facilities. Someone started a fire in the prison kitchen and the priority is to put it out. Stop any casualties to prevent more damage. Use the emergency services button in the toolbar to call the fire brigade. Get this fire under control before it burns the whole prison down. Okay guys, uh, I'm gonna stop here. We continue with this in the next video. Thank you for watching and take care of you. Love you. Bye bye.